Have you ever wondered how Andorra, a small mountainous country became one of the wealthiest nations in the world? Tucked away between France and Spain, this tiny principality has a story that's as grand as the Pyrenees that cradle it. Rewind back to a time before the 20th century, and you'll find an Andorra that was vastly different than what we see today. Its economy was primarily agrarian, with the rugged terrain lending itself to farming and shepherding rather than industrial pursuits. The Andorans, resilient as their mountainous homeland, made the most of what they had. They cultivated the land, herded their flocks, and lived off the fruits of their labor, all the while honing the skills and knowledge that would later serve as the bedrock for their economic transformation. The strategic location of Andorra as a trade route between France and Spain also played a significant role in its economy. In the early part of the 20th century, Andorra remained predominantly agricultural with limited industrialization and tourism. As we step into the 1900s, Andorra's economic landscape was much like a pastoral painting, vast stretches of farmland, shepherds tending to their flocks, and a lifestyle deeply rooted in the rhythm of the seasons. The principality was largely self-sufficient, with communities growing their own food and trading locally. Industrialization, which was sweeping across Europe, had only a limited impact on this tiny mountainous region. The rugged terrain and lack of access to resources meant that large-scale factories and industries were not feasible. Instead, small-scale industries like wool processing and tobacco manufacturing began to take root, adding a modest but significant layer to the local economy. As we transition into the 1920s and 1930s, a new economic opportunity began to emerge, tourism. The majestic Pyrenees, with their snowy peaks and pristine slopes, started attracting visitors who were eager to experience the thrill of winter sports. Ski tourism in particular began to gain popularity. Hotels and inns started popping up to accommodate these winter tourists, providing a new source of income for the locals. This was the beginning of a trend that would eventually transform the principality's economy. But it was still early days and the impact of tourism was only just beginning to be felt. Meanwhile, agriculture continued to play a central role. The fields of Andorra were busy with farmers tending to their crops and shepherds guiding their flocks along the mountain paths. These were the scenes that defined Andorra's economy during this period. So, as we look back on the economic history of Andorra in the 1900s to 1930s, we see a country that was still largely agricultural, but with the first glimmers of a new economic opportunity in the form of tourism. Despite these changes, agriculture continued to be the backbone of Andorra's economy. A post-World War II, Andorra saw increased tourism, especially skiing, which began to emerge as a significant sector. As we move into the mid-20th century, Andorra's economic landscape begins to experience a significant shift. The 1940s and 1950s saw a surge in tourism, particularly in the realm of winter sports. Nestled amidst the Pyrenees, Andorra's snow-clad slopes began attracting skiing enthusiasts from around the world. This upsurge in tourism wasn't accidental but rather a result of strategic planning and investment. Infrastructure began to evolve to support this burgeoning sector. Roads were built and improved, linking Andorra with its neighboring nations, making it more accessible to international tourists. Accommodation options expanded as well, with an influx of hotels sprouting up to cater to the growing number of visitors. But it wasn't all about tourism. As the 1960s rolled in, the economy of Andorra started becoming more diversified. While agriculture remained a key part of life, especially in the rural areas, its dominance in the economy began to dwindle. New sectors were emerging, reducing the principality's reliance on farming and shepherding. As the 1970s dawned, tourism continued to expand. The construction of more hotels and resorts not only catered to the increasing number of tourists, but also created jobs, further boosting the economy. This period also saw the development of a more robust service sector, with businesses sprouting up to cater to the needs of the growing population and tourist influx. By the end of the 1970s, Andorra was no longer the primarily agrarian society it once was. The economy had diversified and tourism had firmly established itself as a major part of Andorra's economy. This small principality had successfully leveraged its natural beauty and strategic location to transform its economic landscape, setting the stage for the rapid growth that was to come in the following decades. By the end of the 1970s, tourism had firmly established itself as a major part of Andorra's economy. 
The 1980s and 1990s saw Andorra experiencing rapid economic growth driven mainly by tourism, banking, and retail. This was a time of transformation with the principality shedding its agrarian roots and embracing the opportunities of a globalized economy. Tourism continued to flourish during these decades, with Andorra becoming a renowned destination not just for skiing, but for summer activities as well. The country's majestic mountains and picturesque landscapes drew visitors from far and wide, boosting the local economy and creating jobs in hospitality, transportation, and other service industries. But it wasn't just the allure of Andorra's natural beauty that fueled its economic growth. The principality's banking sector also played a pivotal role. With its favorable tax policies, Andorra became a desirable location for international businesses and investors. The influx of foreign capital bolstered the banking sector, and in turn, the broader economy. Retail, too, began to thrive. Duty-free status made Andorra a shopper's paradise, attracting tourists and locals alike. The retail sector's growth was symbiotic with tourism as visitors flocked to the country not only for its outdoor activities, but also for its shopping opportunities. A significant factor in this economic boom was Andorra's status as a tax haven. The principality's low tax rates were a magnet for international businesses and high net worth individuals. This influx of capital helped to create a vibrant and diverse economy, with sectors such as real estate and financial services also experiencing growth. But with prosperity came challenges. Andorra had to navigate the complexities of international finance and maintain its attractiveness as a tax haven, while ensuring its economy remained stable and sustainable. This required careful management and forward-thinking policies, a balancing act that Andorra was largely successful in achieving. This period marked a significant economic transformation for Andorra, making it one of the wealthiest nations in the world. From a small agrarian society, Andorra evolved into a prosperous and diverse economy, demonstrating the power of adaptation and ingenuity in the face of change. The past couple of decades have presented new challenges for Andorra. The turn of the millennium saw the tiny principality grappling with an increasingly competitive global tourism sector. Nestled between France and Spain, Andorra had long been a favorite destination for ski enthusiasts and nature lovers. But with the advent of budget airlines and the widespread accessibility of travel information online, potential tourists began to have a plethora of choices at their fingertips. Andorra found itself vying for attention amongst a sea of rival destinations all offering their own unique allure. But competition in the tourism sector was not the only challenge Andorra faced. Its status as a tax haven, which had been instrumental in attracting international businesses and investors throughout the 80s and 90s, started to draw scrutiny from its larger neighbors. France and Spain, along with the broader European Union, began to pressure Andorra to improve its financial transparency. The principality found itself in a delicate balancing act, trying to appease these nations without diluting the very factors that made it an attractive destination for businesses and investors in the first place. These challenges certainly tested Andorra's resilience. However, it's important to note that they didn't spell disaster for the principality's economy. Rather, they prompted a period of adaptation and evolution. Andorra began to diversify its tourism offerings, promoting summer activities such as hiking and mountain biking alongside its traditional winter sports. It also took steps towards improving its financial transparency, working to shed its image as a tax haven while still maintaining a favorable business environment. Despite these challenges, Andorra has managed to maintain its economic growth, albeit at a slower pace. The first two decades of the new millennium may have presented some hurdles, but they also offered opportunities for growth and innovation. Andorra's story in the 2000s and 2010s is a testament to its ability to adapt and evolve in the face of change. So now you know how this small mountainous country has transformed its economy over the years. From an agrarian society, Andorra has evolved into a prosperous nation, all thanks to strategic economic planning and diversification. In the early 20th century, Andorra was still largely agricultural, with the first seeds of tourism and industrialization beginning to take root. Post-World War II, the country saw a boom in tourism, particularly in the skiing sector, supported by significant infrastructure development. As we moved into the 60s and 70s, tourism continued to expand, with the economy becoming more diversified and less reliant on agriculture. The 80s and 90s marked a period of rapid economic growth for Andorra, driven by tourism, banking and retail. 
The principality's tax haven status attracted international businesses and investors, contributing to its prosperity. Despite facing challenges in the new millennium, Andorra continued its steady economic growth. Andorra's story is a testament to the power of strategic economic planning and diversification.